Thank you for being here. I'm Erin Christie. First tonight, the Port of Inola just debuted its newest feature aimed at rethinking its shipping connections. 2 News Oklahoma Samson Tamajani shows us why officials believe a simple rail line will keep Rogers County chugging along with other economic hubs. You probably won't see these railroad crossing arms come down too often. In fact, there's only one company actually using this whole railroad track to transport its shipments. That would be the Italian paper distributor Sofidel, which employs about 400 Oklahomans. But the mere existence of the new Verdigris Southern Railroad, Tulsa Ports argues, opens the door for a new era in Rogers County. It's built for the future of this location. We want to attract other manufacturers to our, the Tulsa area. Uh, and we are on the radar of a lot of those mega companies that are looking to locate. Executive Director David Yarbrough explains that while the much larger port of Catoosa only has plots at 40 acres for new development, the five-year-old port of Inola has sections up to 1,500 acres. We are confident that within a few years, uh, this location will employ thousands of Oklahomans in good paying manufacturing jobs. County Commissioner Ron Burroughs helped seal the deal for the rail shortly after the port was acquired in 2019 via public grants and private investments. Because there was already a rail line here, I mean, so it wasn't something that was just put in and cut through pastures and, you know, new construction. It was just rebuilding an infrastructure that was already here. The 4.4 mile track is run by Union Pacific. Yarborough and Burroughs say the benefit of the new infrastructure is that it's here to stay. When you look at the investment, that investment is what will help a local economy. It is a harbinger of what's to come and it's an indication of how committed we are as a state and as a region to attracting those industries and companies to our area. While this is the biggest transportation investment yet for the port, Yarbrough says a wastewater facility is in the works and could be a reality in the coming years. In Rogers County, Samson Tamajani, 2 News, Oklahoma. Tulsa Port says thanks to the previous abandoned rail line that only needed replacing, the price tag for the Vertigris Southern Railroad was just under $20 million.